Well, I've kind of got basic working. Um, interesting story. I decided to sit down this weekend and go over some code. Um, I've been basically rewriting Grant Searle's um, uh, MS Basic and his serial handler. Um, basically, what I've done is I've chopped it up, turned it into spaghetti code. Kind of got it working. Um, add it, had to add a lot, had to uh, modify a lot, and do a couple different things with it, and then basically pieced it together. And this is what I came up with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a real quick restart. Okay, there we go. And if we go warm, this is really weird. Um, you see, instead of a prompt, we get a zero, which I kind of find interesting. And then if we list, nothing. So let's try a program. I'm typing one-handed, so bear with me. Okay, so we got a very simple program here. Um, for i equals 1 to 10, print hello, next i. So if we list the program, it obviously shows up but something is off as you can tell it it's as though th it's not really factoring line numbers or anything like that I have no idea what's going on with this um, but of course if we run it this is <laughs> even a little bit weirder it doesn't know uh, let's try it with caps yeah doesn't know um, new nothing now let's restart it let's do a cold <laughs> instead of a, a question you know for the memory size it just comes up with this I have no idea your guess is as good as mine and then that and then of course we get the prompt which is a zero rather than a prompt um, so if we type list nothing so 10 type out the same program here okay so there we go same program now let's try running it and it's a hello, we get H, uppercase U, uppercase U, uppercase U, uppercase U. I don't know. <laughs> and the best part about it is the, the ROM itself, or, well, the assembly for it, the assembly listing, um, it's really unmodified. The only thing that's different is... Um, <coughs> Let me see here. Oh, yeah, you got to scroll down. Um, I changed the origin location so that instead of it being 150, it just comes up right after the sign on message, too. And of course, I had a little bit of stuff I added in here to be able to test it out. But uh, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. The only thing that has changed is the. Um, uh, serial routines and they appear to be working I've even done you know a test echoing and everything else um, you know jumping to different parts asking questions typing stuff out printing it back everything with that works fine so he's obviously done something else with the source for the um, basic because it is not working the way it's supposed to be working and I would almost guarantee that if you were to compile those two assembly listings together rather than just using the ROM that he's already used 
you're going to end up getting errors. Of course, he's using an older version of um, TASM, I believe, to compile these. And the issue that you run into is that, um, well, first off, the syntax is a little bit different. For example, instead of it being a, um, you know, a DB for, you know, let's say a, a byte, it's a dot byte. And then for, um, you know, an org, uh, instead of it being org, um, let's say zero, 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 it would be dot org, zero, 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 zero. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I had to go back and modify those obviously, but th that just makes it compatible with the compiler that I'm using. And there's nothing else that really should have changed. But obviously something's different because it's not working. I mean, it's kind of working. I mean, you can tell that it's doing something. But that's about it. Um, let's try, I don't know. Let's try this. I want to see if uh, Control C works. So we're gonna run. Yeah, it, it breaks. I mean, it does run. <laughs> I mean, so I kind of have basic working on my computer. <laughs> it's uh, pretty interesting. But in either case, um, if anybody has any idea what's going on here, um, I'd love to hear from you. I've got this thing set up for um, interrupt mode one. Um, you know, my serial routine for the SIO is um, there. If anybody's rewritten this to work with the SIO, I'd love just to see your code. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, write some custom code and embed into my own, um, you know, ROM in order to be able to get this thing to run anyways. But I'd love to at least see what you've done if you use the SIO and actually got it running with Grant's version of BASIC because this is <laughs> this is kind of weird. It works with everything else, but for some reason it just it does this crazy stuff. But um, I mean, obviously you know it pops up just fine. It you know you get a C. <laughs> I mean, it's trying to print. I mean, you can tell that there should probably be something that says memory there, and then probably something that says. Um, MS Basic or something right there. I, I don't know, and I, it's not the serial port because the serial port works perfectly fine with my other um, ROM. I'm, you know, we actually look at the port. It's only at 57600 baud, so it's not like it's lightning fast. I'm not, you know, missing characters or anything. Um, I don't have a clue. So if you have any ideas, <laughs> put it in the comments below. I'd be happy to take a look at it. All right, thanks. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.